I cut my hair the other day. This is how it looks a few days after, after air drying it, because I don't really like styling my hair. I just like to wash and go, and this is how I did it. I colored my hair the day before, then crossed my fingers for good luck, and used the buzzer to start cutting the hair. I am not a professional hairstylist, I only cut my kid's hair and my own. So I used the instructions that came with this machine. I used different attachments for blending. I tried to keep my sideburns a little bit longer because I like being able to put them behind my ears. I went all the way around using four different attachments. Oh my gosh, it already looks so much better. Look at this. My hair was a little bit unruly, so I just did what I could to try to cut it all over the place. And I am pretty sure that if you are a professional hairstylist, you are probably cringing right now. I cut my hair this way all the way around. By the way, of course, I learned how to cut from amazing hair stylists that uh, I worked with before. Not bad, not bad. And here's the time for some thinning shears. And I went all the way around just to get rid of some thickness because I had to get rid of the corners of my hair because my head is a little bit square. So I have to shape my head with using of uh, my hair. So you see, I am thinning the hair right on the sides right there for my hair not to look too square. I've seen my favorite hairstylists do this. So that's why I did that too. <laughs> And somehow it works. It's magic. Look at that. Not bad. It's time to fix my bangs. And I did it this way because I could never do a straight line. Yeah, these are the thinning shears. And make it a little bit straighter. And you see, I did it at an angle because I know that's the side I like to do. And here I cut around my ears. Overall, I am not afraid to cut my hair because I know that it's going to grow again and in about a month and a half I will try it again and it works pretty well. I love it.